Hello everyone, it's Ashaka here again and today I'm going to share with you the number one secret of the most profitable and most successful Shopify stores and that is the use of email marketing and this is the number one skill that you have to learn if you really really want to run and operate a very profitable Shopify store and the best email marketing can be summed up in just three words, which is give to get. And if you think about this concept from the customer's point of view, think about this. Many people, they are already bombarded with marketing from a variety of sources. And seriously speaking, people get tired of feeling as if the business owner or entrepreneurs, they are only interested in the money they have in their wallet. And so when you use email marketing to associate with your customers, to educate and inform your potential customers about your product or your service, you can make significant strides towards the ideal goal of giving to get. And if you're like myself on a budget, and you do not want to spend a lot on the Shopify apps. You can you make use of the free apps such as the MailChimp for Shopify that you can see here. Okay, you can go to your app store in your Shopify, search for MailChimp for Shopify, click on Get, and install this into your Shopify store. The good thing about using uh, MailChimp is you will be able to get up to 2,000 free subscribers and able to send up to 12,000 emails to all these subscribers. And so if you're just starting out, if you're a newbie and learning how to use Shopify, I would highly recommend that you get MailChimp for Shopify and start to collect email addresses from your potential customers and audience. And after you have installed MailChimp into your Shopify store, now what you want to do is to link up MailChimp to your Shopify newsletter. Now I'm inside one of my test accounts with MailChimp and first you have to go to list and once you are inside go to the list that you've created i'm into art and design and paintings and yoga which is why this is one of my interests click into your list go to the sign up forms scroll down and look for subscriber pop-up select this you're going to create a pop-up form for your Shopify store. And because I like to keep things simple, I'm going to choose this one, even though that you have a lot of other choices, as can be seen here. I like to keep things simple. And thus, I will choose this pop-up form with the email address and the first name. So you will be collecting the email address and the first name of your potential customers. And if I want to change the wordings here, I can do so under content. I'll just delete this. And once you're satisfied editing, you can simply go ahead and publish it. Click on publish. And then you will view the code. And so this is the code that you will use to paste into your Shopify store. Now what you do now is to you go back into your own Shopify store and I have here with me my test account. Look at the left sidebar, look for Teams. Click into Teams. Go into Edit HTML and CSS. Scroll down here and what you're going to do is you're going to look for index 
liquid. Okay, this is the one. Click into this index liquid, screw all the way down, and you will paste your script that you have copied from Mewchim into the position here. And that's it. You would have inserted your pop-up sign-up form from Mewchim. And if you want to ensure that the newsletter on your Shopify store is linked up to Mewchim itself, you have to go to, into Mewchim, go to sign-up forms, scroll down, look for embedded forms, select this, scroll down and you will see some codings over here. So this is the link which you want to use. Let's copy this. I will just extract this link, copy and paste, copy and paste into the top part of this text file so that you can see it clearly over here. What you want to do is to copy this whole link. Go back into your Shopify store. Look at the left hand sidebar. Look for Teams. Go into the Teams. Go to the Customize Team. And you look for the footer. Simply scroll down. Click into footer. Look for the Mutrim form action URL. Okay, so you will paste your link over here, which I have already done over here. As you can see, this link here will go into this place. After you have copied into this field here, click Save.